So Carmen has a few people confused after she posted this new casting call on her Instagram. Now, this is for her show, Carmen's Boo Camp. Now, people were a bit confused because people were thinking that she was actually with Michi. Someone states, what happened to Michi? Another person says, damn, what happened to Michi? Someone else says, period she ain't tied to no one another person at michi and states you okay with this now obviously this is just for entertainment purposes only and i'm pretty sure michi may be on that show and i wouldn't be surprised if he's the winner but let's move on to this next topic with nick and Dwayne. now i recently reported in previous videos that they appear to have broken up nick even announced that she she was single. Well, it appears now that they are back together. Dwayne bought her some expensive gifts for her birthday and Christmas. So I got these three last year. The the red, um, black, and white from Dwayne last year. And I've added to my collection. So, I got so Neek recently shared that she did go to Columbia to get her body yachty done. So it appears that Dwayne is now ready to put a ring on Miss Neek's finger. He posts on his Instagram, a relationship is built when two people balance each other. Anything less is one person falling off another person's game. Then he says, I'm ready to get married tomorrow. So do you guys feel like an engagement is coming soon? You guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now let's move on to this next topic with Deira. Now she recently posted her end of the year photos. And as you can see, she has her boo thing in the photos. Now I previously reported that Deira's alleged boo jazz ex-girlfriend had some things to get off her chest. Now, she was on live around the end of November, and she had this to say. Yeah, I'm going to go live, and I'm going to give y'all the real. I'm going to talk about some things that everybody keep asking me about in my DMs. So every time I go live, we're going to really get into it. I'm ready to tell my story. <laughs> So then I also reported on Deere's response to that when she stated, it's about to be a completely new year. Saying it once again, leave the BS from 2023 and 2023. We don't bring old habits, old people, old situations into a new year. Start fresh. And please, if I left your A in another year, and for some reason I'm still on your mind years later, it's time to let it go. And please leave me and my name in 2023. So then Deer's boo ex-girlfriend actually goes to Deer's Twitter and likes Deer's tweet. Then she responds with, some people just really deserve they ass beat. It's really crazy how B-word do you wrong and play victim. Like it's you who wrong. Weird as F. Who raised you clowns? Ish could have happened to me 10 years ago. If I want to talk about it, bring it up, scream about it, that that's what I'm going to do. I don't give a F. Then Deira just responded with cease and desist. So then the ex-girlfriend went live because now she's tired of everyone bringing up Deira every time she gets on social media. So anyways, like I was saying, uh, <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, like, I moved on with my life. <laughs> I'm much happier now. Like I'm sane. I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. I'm not any of those things. Like I don't care about what's happening around me. Well, I'm not gonna say that. I don't care about what's happening in my past and people trying to make it about the present. Like I don't care about it no more. Like it is what it is. Like everything happening in the past does not matter today. If that makes sense. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to let people be who they are. I'm 
I'm let people be who they want to be. I'm gonna let people do what they want to do because at the end of the day, people gonna do what they want to do anyway. So all I care about is me and what I have going on and my happiness and my future and my life and my love life or whatever. That's all I care about now, the present. I don't care about the past. So we're gonna leave the past in the past. We're not talking about nothing that happened a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, whatever. I'm done with it. I wash my hands with it and I'm happy. I'm just happy. So I want everybody to just literally leave it in the past and let's move on. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of people always asking me about it. I'm just, I'm really just tired of it. Like I've been through the worst of the worst. Like I literally <laughs> saw my mother get that bit. Like I'm past it. I, 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 I grew. I moved on from it. Like God really helped me get through all of that and I'm through it. So I just want to let it go. Now, I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to relive it. I just want to let it go. So if y'all could just help me let it go and start bringing it up every time y'all get in my life or every time like somebody said something about it like don't affiliate me with that no more like I'm done with it it's done so y'all help me help myself cause people always just look for negative shit all the time like I don't wanna have nothing negative in my life anymore I wanna move on and I wish everybody the best everybody deserves happiness and if that was make them happy then so be it so I want that same thing for me too so let me be happy and let them people be happy that's it that's all I got that's all I got like, I'm not worried about nobody I'm really not I'm healed. I'm healed, y'all. I'm delivered. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I got. I probably said a whole mouthful, but I really mean that wholeheartedly. I don't care about what nobody got going on. Nobody. All I care about is me and my future and what I got going on. It's all that matters. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. I promise. People be thinking that I'm so hard up. I'm so worried. I know we be joking. We be like, you know, making jokes, cracking jokes and shit like that. But I'm really, I really don't care. It's a joke. I want people to be happy. Truth. I want people to live in their truth. Don't hide. Live in your truth. Cause you shouldn't have to hide. Life is short. And I'm not high as shit. So yeah, I want everybody to live in nature. So listen, so that's it. So my thing is what we Hey, baby. Good. Grandma alive. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah. So don't ask me shit else about the past. Nothing, okay? Nothing. I don't care. I don't care. Listen, wholeheartedly. I don't. I don't give a fuck. And I mean it. I wish everybody the best. And that's coming from the heart. I forgave, and I forgave. Y'all, <laughs> so, no I, I think I might be a little old. I might be old. I might be too old. Because <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what that means. Somebody help me. Yo, come on. Oh, at this moment. Why y'all just came out? That was abbreviated shit. Just spell it out. What you up to at this moment? Like right now? 
like right now. Right now. <laughs> I'm just, you know, drinking, hanging out with some friends, if that's what you ask me. I don't know. I sound so sick.